Check. Stop recording. What is going on, you guys, and welcome back to BVI Pilots. I am your host, John, as always, here with you, uh, bringing you new information, all that good stuff, as we always do. And I've got a guest with me, actually, uh, again, and we'll be talking to him a little bit about this as I go through and tell you guys about it. Brandon, how's it going, buddy? Going good. Just coming in from my landing at uh, our favorite airport in the world, Calgary in Canada. As we all know, it's a bit of a trick. Yeah, but you know what, man? Once you learn that airport, that's right. Once you learn it, it's not so bad, is it? No. 35,000 feet. All right, guys, so you are going to be probably hearing my sim. I've got it on a quieter sound, but it sounds like the plane's going from, like, back and forth through your ear. But that's just a setting I got it on for now so I can, so you guys can hear me and I can hear what's going on. So I want to talk about something because I believe it's something that, matter of fact, I just showed Brandon how to do it tonight and... Here in just a few minutes, we'll get his opinion about it. But I'm going to tell you how to do it. It's real simple, but it's very convenient. Um, so on Windows, and you know, uh, with your desktop, you can you can also set up virtual desktops. And it sounds kind of confusing, but it's not. So the reason that I do it, and the way that I do it, first. How do you do it? What is the virtual? The virtual desktop is basically another desktop, only now you've got two different desktops where you can have one program, you know, maximized, not minimized, but maximized, and then on another desktop have another program maximized, and then you can go back and forth in between the two or three or four, whatever you want to do, uh, you can do that. And the way you do it, when you let's say you got your sim open the way I do right now I've got my sim open and what I do on my second window is I open up FS tramp right now and to get to it all I gotta do is go control windows right arrow and there's my tramp and I can tab as you can hear my reader um, I can tab through it do what I need to do and then when I need to get back to my sim, control windows, my left arrow, back to my sim. So the way you do it, start your sim. After you got your sim set up, whatever you want to be on your next desktop, which would be the control shift right arrow, that'd be desktop uh, two, technically. It's your second desktop, second window. Um, you'll yep. just do control shift right arrow and it's going to put you on your desktop you're going to think well i'm back at the spot i was already at no you're not you are on your desktop but you're on desktop two run the program that you want to be right beside your sim or whatever it is you're doing um i recommend you put tramp right beside it that way you're able to go back and forth sim tramp sim Tramp. I can go back and forth, do what I got to do, and it's much quicker. And you don't got to worry about doing all the tabbing and shift tabbing. Now, I showed Brandon this just a little bit ago. So let's get his opinion. Brandon, how's it working out for you? Working out very well for me, actually. So do you find it to be more useful that way to where you can just you know, go between the windows that you need? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, definitely. I think it's it's better that way because the thing is, guys, when let's say like right now I'm on my sim. When I do control windows right arrow, I'm already on the tramp window. I, I don't got an alt tab to pull it up. I just tap through what I got to do. See? And I can do what I got to do. And then I can go back to my sim. So, personally, I recommend it to people. Uh, Brandon, what would you say uh, overall with with being able to do it this way? What What is your view on this? How, I guess what I'm asking, how much does it help you? Oh, it helps a lot, actually, due to the fact that I have a slower machine and I 
really, if I can help it, I don't like to alt tab a lot um, mm -hmm. because of the programs that are in the way. And as you know, some programs like to maximize themselves, and you're trying to use something else, and it reads something else when you want it to read a different thing. So, Is that quicker? Would like you say it. it's quicker that way? The oh, new it's way? Definitely quicker. It's definitely quicker. Mm hmm. And guys, here's the thing. If you want three of them, you could have it. You could have, you know, if you've got something on the third window and you're on your sim, you just control windows, right arrow, right arrow. And now you're on your third desktop or your second. Um, the more you do control shift, right arrow, the more you go over to the next window. So you could technically have as many as you want. Maybe you're running five different programs. You could have them all on their own desktop and you would just go back and forth between the ones by just doing control shift left arrow right arrow um i like it i think it works good and if you guys have any questions about it um feel free to leave comments and you know let us know you know if you're having trouble with it we'd be glad to help you if we can um yeah well i got you here i am going to encourage you guys to sign up as a uh bvi member sign on the website the yep bvi um bvipilots.com go there click on register i think it's i think it says register or sign up one or the other i can't remember um but sign up yeah. and then not only can you you know uh take advantage of everything we're going to be doing but you can also message other bvi members like i can message brandon brandon can message josh or me or andy or whoever as a member signs up and as long as you have the checkbox set up to where you can be messaged where you get your own personal contact form and it's already set up you don't got to yeah. do nothing just check mark yep. the box and bam you're done so check out bvipilots.com um you got questions leave your comments or go to the website send us a message there you can contact us all that good stuff and uh brandon i appreciate you uh, joining us here on this short video i'm hoping that this will become useful to people because that's why we do these videos up here to help each other so yep. stick around we got so many exciting things coming for you guys in the future i'm super excited about tfm it's going places like you wouldn't imagine and i am super excited that we're right there along with it we're riding right oh, along yeah. with it and we get to experience every little move that tfm you know progresses to make with new features and all that good stuff so till next time you guys take care give us a thumbs up if you will showing that you like this video or another video on the channel and most of all be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can watch other videos just like this one in the future we'll talk to you guys soon take care